Hello YouTube, and welcome to another Elder Scrolls lore video. Today we're talking about Tamriel's dominant language, Tamrielic, and we will talk a little bit about its origins and evolution over the years. This will probably be a little bit of a complicated video, so without any further ado, let's immediately kick off. So in my video on the Elvish language and on my lore lectures on the Meretic Era, I already talked at length about the languages of the Elves and stuff like alphabets on Tamriel. But those languages and alphabets are not the one that we see in the game most of the times. The language that is most widely used on Tamriel and is used most on Tamriel in general is Tamrielic. Tamrielic is a language not originating with one specific race, it's a mix of many other languages. Over the years it's essentially become Tamriel's native language, at least in the human regions at the moment. But let's back up a bit. Like I discussed in my lore lectures on the Dawn and Meretic Era, all languages on Tamriel have the same origins in Old Elmufe, the language of the Elmufe, or the ancestors of the humans, Elves, Khajiit, Akavir, and basically all other intelligent races on Tamriel except for the Argonians, who come from the Hist and not from the Elmufe. These Elnufe had their own language and alphabet and a writing system based on an alphabet. Now, to quickly summarize the lore lectures, the Elnufe had some massive splits. They got isolated on their own continents and evolved eventually into the ancestors of the races that we see today. So the uh, elves and the humans and the Yokudans. This means that each Tamrielic language, other than the language of the Argonians, which again do not originate from the Elnufe but from the Hist, has inherent similarities in structure, grammar and writing, because each race had its language basically derived from the old Elnufe language in a very 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 long past. Each race has an alphabet based writing system as well because of this and that's because they all evolved from the same starting point in terms of language and writing. This is a logical contrast to our own universe, where civilizations on our universe did not have a similar starting point, and thus civilizations on other continents got completely different writing systems as they developed it in isolation. For more on that, watch my lore lectures. What I wish to illustrate with this is that the peoples of Tamriel, except for the Argonians, will understand each other's languages relatively easily, because they have the same structures and origins in their languages baked in. After the ancestors of the elves and the ancestors of the humans landed on Tamriel again after their isolation, each had their own language which they developed on their own continents. The Aldmeri language on all continent of Aldmeris for the elves and the Nidic language on Atmora for the humans. The Aldmer and the Needs, after coming to Tamriel, weren't always able to, you know, exactly coexist in peace with the Heartland Elves, so the Aliots enslaving the human Needs in Cyrodiil, which would later become the Imperials, and the Elves of Skyrim, the Snow Elves, and the human Needs of Skyrim, later becoming the Nords, infamously fighting a bitter war until the Needs basically, you know, killed off all the Snow Elves as they evolved into the Nords. However, it's clear that despite not liking one another at all, the humans and the elves were able to communicate with each other quite easily and understand one another. And that's because of this similar origin point of their languages. And in the place where the elves, elves and humans did coexist relatively peacefully, namely in High Rock, there was even a sort of hybrid language between Old Mary and Nidic, namely Old Bretnik, the language of the first Bretons, which are a mix between elves and humans, essentially resulting out of interbreeding between elves and humans. Now, the thing is that Tamrielic, the language spoken by the majority on Tamriel in modern times, is most likely a mixture of both elvish and human, because according to the Daggerfall Chronicles, we know that Tamrielic is actually an evolved product of the Cyrodiilic language, so not of the Bre Bretonic language or the Nordic language but of the Cyrodiilic language, uh, which is the language of the early Imperials who evolved from the Needs in the Heartland, who were enslaved by the Heartland Elves, so the Aliots, before they were rebelling. Now, we know that the Needs enslaved in the Heartland took on many elements of the language of their masters, the Aeliot Elves, into their own language, meaning that the early Imperial language is most likely a combination of both humanoid and Elvish languages. The language spread over Tamriel quite naturally after freeing themselves from the slavers, uh, because the Imperials, after freeing themselves, established several Cyrodiilic empires over the ages. First the Alessian Empire, then the Riemann Empire, then the Septim Empire, and finally the Mede Empire out of the Septim Empire, which is the empire that we have in Skyrim. 
Um, the Riemann and Septim empires likely had the biggest influence on the spread of Cyrodiilic as the new Tamrielic white language. Uh, this is basically because they both established the majority of Tamriel under their control. Also, according to the Daggerfall Chronicles, we know that in the year 2813 of the First Era, the Riemann Empire actually instituted Cyrodiilic as the language to be used on legal documents within the Empire, meaning that it had become essentially the official language of the Empire's communication. And then the Empire occupied the vast majority of Tamriel and would do so for many more years under the Riemann Empire and the Akavir Potentates. During the time of the Akaviri Potentate, it's even possible that Cyrodiilic, and thus Tamrielic, was slightly influenced by the Akaviri language as well, making Cyrodiilic and thus Tamrielic possibly a product of both human, elvish and Akaviri origin. It's fair to say that the only reason that this mixed language has become the most spoken language on Tamriel is that both the Riemann and Septim empires occupied the vast majority of Tamriel for several centuries each, thus forcing the local population of each of the provinces to interact with the empire in the Tamrielic language, forcing the people from each province to learn this language. Uh, this made it so that, for example, a Bosmer could ev effectively communicate with a Nord because both had their own languages but also had to learn the Tamrielic language growing up and thus both could communicate with each other quite easily and they could quite easily learn the language as it contains both elements of human and elvish languages which are already a product of the same original language. So they both had the same starting point and now had the same end point, uh, you know, uh, sort of. Whether the factions outside of the Empire's control, for example the Altmeri Dominion in the 4th era, would try to banish the language from their lands to symbolize independence from the Empire is unknown. I mean, in the specific case of the Altmeri Dominion, they would actually probably do that since uh, they wish to bring about a new Meretic era, so an era, era of Elvish dominance where the superiority of Mer, Mer over Man is essentially a standard for civilization, meaning that they would likely want the Elvish language to be the new Tamrielic language and thus banishing the old Tamrielic language, uh, which is a human language according to them because it was introduced by the human empires, even though it's a mix of both, but you know. so. The last two things before I end this video, uh, I need to say two more things. Uh, first of all, the Tamriel itself has also changed over the years as we find references to both Middle and Early Tamrielic in lore, meaning that the language currently spoken on Tamriel is likely uh, Late or Modern Tamrielic. Uh, but this essentially means that Tamrielic itself has also changed since its inception uh, in the er early first era with Saint Alessia and stuff. Um, and the second, Tamrielic is not English, German or French or whatever language you play the Elder Scrolls in. The language that we play in the games is simply an interface to make the games more playable. For example, in Morrowind people were speaking both Tamrielic and Dunmery during your playthrough, as for example Icelanders or Talvani wizards would not be speaking Tamrielic, uh, because they are essentially independent from the Empire in many ways, and they hate outside cultures. It's simply an interface for gameplay, uh, the language that we speak inside the game. We know that Tamrielic has its own words, grammar, sentences, etc. Uh, separate from English or French or German or whatever you play Elder Scrolls in. Uh, but we simply never hear or read it because of this interface problem. Save for some very specific instances where we can find a word or two or thrown around in a lore book. And that's basically it. That's what I can say about the Tamrielic language. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I hope to see you, see you back next time in the next Elder Scrolls lore video. Before I end things, allow me to thank my top patrons, Mr. Bernardo Binda, Gabriel Binda, Mr. Gersmus, and Mr. Para. These wonderful patron supporters, along with all the others on screen, are the ones that make these videos possible, and for that I am very grateful. So, with that said, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.